What's going on guys? A uh, bit of a disclaimer. Uh, this video only shows like the night of. There's no next morning to it. Uh, I had to run home like for a family emergency in the middle of the night. So uh, just a little FYI that the video's going to be short and stuff. Uh, but I guess now that you know that, let's get into it. That's the chair I got. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. I got two of them for I think 59 bucks or something like that. I don't know. Hopefully the wind's not too bad for you guys. I didn't know it was really supposed to be this windy. I knew there were some, but anyways, uh, we are gonna do a subscriber suggested something about a, a, a I think she called it like a tin foil pack. Uh, just put meat and veggies and stuff in it and throw it in the fire or something. So when I was growing up, uh, my grandma and my dad and stuff always made a. We call them hobo dinners it's the same thing she described but it's we just call it a hobo dinner uh so i got some potatoes and onions uh, i got some burger around here somewhere i don't know but we're gonna we're gonna get that cut up and prepped up and that's what we're having for dinner fire seems to finally taken off Uh, this is the, the little foldable table that I got in sunny feel. Again, it was Amazon special, I'm pretty sure. This one might have been eBay because it might have been cheaper on eBay. The that I got are like uh, my most used things. I absolutely love them. Well, this one just opens up like that. And these, these rods got little holes in them. You just set them in there and clip them in. Uh, 
I didn't bring the dog with, obviously. Uh, so I guess we'll see how many views this video gets compared to the other ones that have the dog in it. Uh, I had to go to a buddy of mine's house and uh, help him out a little bit with a truck. And I figured I would just drive the, the Ranger with the camper on the back of it and I could help him and then drive out back and stay the night and do a video. So I didn't really want to bring the dog with while I was doing that because we were fixing the truck in the barn. And right next to the barn, I mean, there's chickens and rabbits and stuff in the barn. And then right next to the barn, there's horses. So, and he hasn't been around. He's seen horses from a distance, you know, but he hasn't actually been around horses. So, I just don't want a nice vet bill or a dead dog. Um, so, yeah, I didn't bring him with, which kind of sucks because uh, my old lady always says that when I leave without him, he just lays by the door and kind of like mopes around the house. But, uh,. I'll be sure to bring him on the next one. I mean, plus it's it's really windy. I think the wind chill is like negative two or negative three or something. So, I mean, it, 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 he, I mean, I can put him in the truck in the truck to try to stay warm, but he won't stay in there. He just scream and whine because he wants to be right next to me, and it's it's so cold now that I'm already been out here for a few hours that I just don't want him out in this all the time. I figured there'd be less wind here, but I mean, it's really windy. Uh, yeah. The other thing I've been thinking about that I wanted to ask you guys. Uh, so, for those of you don't, that don't know, I have a Mule. I got a 2021 uh, Mule Pro DXT. Uh, and I want to take it camping. Obviously, I want to I use it to like check out the trails and just, just check out different spots in the trails and stuff. <laughs> the problem is, is, I can't pull it behind that. So, usually when I like go up north and do trips with that uh, I take the the Cummins my work truck or my the one I got set up for a welding rig I uh, usually take that which means that I gotta sleep in a tent which is no big deal to me because I got buddy heaters and all kinds of stuff so I mean that's fine but it's not really like a truck camping thing and then plus I'm kind of limited I gotta pack more supplies and pack a heater and stuff like that uh, but I've been thinking or contemplating about buying uh, another truck basically for a truck camper uh, just like a an f-150 or a, like a Chevy 1500 or something I don't need you know I just just a, just a normal full-size pickup that I know I can put that behind and still have a truck camper in the back and I don't have any worries like because the new always I think it's supposed to weigh 2,000 pounds stock but I got all the you know extras on it and stuff and then I'm about to put different rims and tires on it like 31s or 32s or something so like it's probably 2500 pounds or something like that by now with the winch and bumpers and stuff but i don't want to put that behind that truck like could it do it probably would it last doing it i might get there and i'd be lucky to get back i mean or it could last a couple times but either way i don't want to chance it uh because uh, again for those of you that don't know if you haven't watched any of the other videos um the only reason i did this to this truck because it was a spare truck it just sat in the driveway. I never really used it. Uh, basically just to haul wood back and forth. It is brisk out here. I am freezing. My feet are warm. My legs are warm. But this wind is killer. Uh, but yeah, so that was a spare truck. So that's why I did it to that truck. And it works out nice. Uh, but like I said, if I can't... I, I just really want to take my mule up to places and, and, and use the mule too and ride the trails and check stuff out and I can't do it with that truck so I mean I have that bus that I was I mean I still am trying I just don't have any time it was converting it to four-wheel drive and first we have to make it run which I think it needs a high pressure oil pumper that's what I was told but yeah so I mean we could use the bus if I fix the bus and convert the bus into a camper and it'd be a four-wheel drive camper which would be I, I think it'd be pretty sick but, I mean, that takes a little bit of time that I don't really have that much of. And plus, the bus doesn't fit anywhere, and it's freezing. So I have to be doing all this work to it outside. Or do I see if I grab another another truck to see if I can find, like a like I said, a F-150 or 1500 or something, you know, Chevy or something like that, anything? I don't really know. I mean, would you guys even watch the video if I wasn't camping in the truck? If I camped in, in a tent, you know, for, for a couple of videos? Because then I could just take my Cummins up there and pack like I usually do. 
I don't really know. I mean, obviously, I'd prefer to be a truck camper because the amenities that I have in it and just being comfortable and stuff like that. Like, I'd rather have a truck camper. Potatoes, some onions, some meat. That's where it at. And it's really easy to make. Like, I mean, as you saw, I put basically nothing in here. Just some salt, pepper, and garlic. And, uh, it was good. Mm-hmm, that was delicious. Yeah, so, I suppose I'm just going to sit here and munch on this. Kick back by the fire. And, uh, see you guys back in the truck, I guess. Well, fire's about out. I mean, it basically is out. Uh, got the heater running. I guess it's been running for a while now. Uh, opened his back window up because even the heat on this low, like the lowest setting you can go, it, uh, Still gets crazy hot in here. The heater's definitely too much for this little truck. But it's nice though, because I can open this window and crack that one, or vice versa. I get a nice little cross breeze in here. I guess we're just going to sit back, relax, uh, watch some videos, catch up on, catch up on uh, Crazy Quaddy, uh, and uh, that's about it. I kind of regret not having the dog. I feel bad that he's just sitting at the house. I mean, the, the wife and kids and stuff are there, but and the other dogs and stuff, but just the last few times I had him with me, just feel like he should be here. Plus, I'm pretty sure that's the only reason why half you guys watch this, because the dog. I suppose we're gonna sit back and relax. Hopefully his back feels better. <sighs> and uh I guess we'll just see you guys in the morning, I suppose. I don't really have anything to say. I feel like I should talk more. I feel like we should we should have a conversation here.